Morning, another day, another walk. We're at Lady Bower Reservoir today. Gonna do a loop round, head up onto one hill. Don't think we'll get to the top, but it's just to get round part of it because it can be quite hard to follow the water all the way around. Some really good sights along the way, so make sure you stay tuned. Just walking along the side of the reservoir now, along the path. You might be able to see the bridge that we'll be going across later in the background. And that's Lady Bower behind me. Later on, I'll show you Derwent Reservoir. Further up the valley, you won't see it today, is Howden. So, a bit of information for you there. So just having a look across the water and you can clearly see where the evergreen trees are just at the top. Really beautiful colours. So you've got your dark green and then your browns. A little bit of cloud there. So we'll keep going. Just walking around the reservoir and I've come to this pipe in the background there. Last time we were here, there was a cyclist going over it and there was about eight foot, 10 foot drop underneath. So hopefully something spectacular is gonna be happening at the dam. Fingers crossed, all right? So stay tuned to find out. Like I promised, you're going to see something amazing in a minute to do with the dam. I'll flip the camera and you'll get a little teaser and then I'll show you a clip closer up. So you might be able to hear it, you might just be able to see in the distance. So here we go. There's the dam look with the water overflowing. Spectacular. A wall of water look. We're gonna go in for a closer view. Oh, there it is. Behind me is Derwent Dam. And then Derwent Reservoir is the other side of this and we've been walking alongside Lady Bower Reservoir. It is spectacular, it really is. At the top of the dam now you can see it's overflowing today so it's just going over the edge and then that shot earlier and it's falling down there's a bit of wind so it's kind of blowing some mist back really cool so this is why the war memorial is here because this is where they practice the bouncing bombs with the dam busters some really interesting facts and every year they do a flyover, flying nice and low between them to commemorate everybody that lost their lives, these pilots that risked everything for our freedom. Another heartwarming story here. Yes. A dog you know, stayed with its master. True story. That um, for 15 weeks. 
because he died up on the moors. That's why I love dogs. Come in in the dark wood, bit of protection from the rain to have a brew. It's starting to rain, we're all right. We're coming up to where I showed you earlier across the water where the obviously evergreen trees meets the brown trees. So we're almost kind of at our peak, not the peak, but we're not going to get much higher until we start heading back down to Lady Bower Dam. What you might be able to notice is. I've got a different coat on today because I woke up, sorted everything out, loaded the van and forgot my waterproof rab jacket. So I've just got this one. It does the job, but it's definitely not waterproof, but we'll keep going. Right, so what you just saw there is actually the remains of an old Roman road. They used to take salt, salt road, all up and down these hills. And that's what this track essentially is. It's an old Roman road. I mean, I find it hard enough walking up it, let alone getting carts and big bags and stuff. So tough old Romans. Crossing over one of the rivers that feeds into the dam. We're gonna follow that down until we get to the other side of the dam. Just walking along the side of the reservoir. This is Lady Bower Reservoir now. And just in the distance, you can see the bridge we were at earlier. So making our way back round. Saw the bridge there, the arches of the bridge, very prominent feature. And then when we get there, you'll get to see the, the plug off. So we're just getting to Lady Bower Dam. We're at the top of it and then I'll show you what's the other side. So that's the dam, and then there's the plug hole. Got to admit, I'm a little disappointed because when it's high water, all the water goes flooding in there, and with Derwent Dam having the water flowing over the top, I did think that that would happen as well. But we'll have a look, we'll come back another day so I'll show you all, but it's still pretty spectacular as it is. There's all the water for Lady Bower Reservoir and then you go across and then you've got the big grass bank and there the watch house is for the pipes for the two plug holes. So yeah, there you go. As you can see behind me, the bridge where we started, well, parked up just a bit further up. So we're just walking back. Has been a wet one. Definitely missing that wrap jacket. 
but it's definitely been worth it. Been amazing. Got to see the wall of water on Derwent Dam. I've been trying to see that for ages. Unfortunately, didn't get to see the plug hole with the water running down it, but it's still worth seeing them. Have to come back another day for that. So that's that. So that's Lady Bower done. Just gotta say bye. So if you like this video, hit the like. Remember to subscribe. Much appreciate it. Uh, that's that. See ya from Rob with another day, another walk.